we're now going to install a sacrificial UV on the leech in the foot and we're going to use a Dacron UV resistant material here and cut it to the appropriate width. Your sale kit instructions, the written instructions that accommodate each kit will tell you what width to cut the strips along the foot and also what width to cut along the leech. Here you can see Deb cutting multiple strips. It's a good idea to cut smaller lengths, whether it be 46 or 60 inches, uh, because that takes the shape of the leech in the foot better than having one long strip, so cut short strips. We're going to be working with the foot of the sail first, and you can see Deb preparing the strips that she's cut to be placed along that foot of the sail. This sacrificial material is a UV resistant Dacron. You could be using Sumbrella. It's a similar procedure. We're finding out how many panels we need along the foot. Deb will carefully place this first panel exactly aligned along the edge and then she marks the corners. So in doing this she'll be able to put the spray adhesive on it and then move it over to the sail and adhere it perfectly in place. This UV resistant Dacron fabric does not have an adhesive on the back side, so we're going to use the Super 77 spray adhesive by 3M. If you're using the uh, UV insignia uh, material, uh, that is done a little bit differently. And we have a separate video that's live on our website that's uh, free of charge, so you can watch us uh, doing that if you like. And now she takes it over to the sail, places it on top of those two marks. The beauty of this stuff is that you can always peel it up and reapply it if you don't like the position, which she does have to do quite a few times. It's a good idea to also have an extra helper. One thing you can see here in the video that we do not have is an extra helper. Why is it taking so long? That's because if she gets it directly on top of those marks perfectly, the entire length will be laid exactly where it needs to be along the foot of the sail. If she had another helper, which we did not, it would be easier to hold this panel up so she could position it a little bit easier. When adhering this to the sail, make sure there are no bubbles. So see how Deb's smoothing out the fabric as she bases it in place. This same procedure is used for the umbrella fabric except for the fact that at the leech edge and the foot edge, we usually leave a little bit of excess fabric so that we can wrap it around those edges. Whereas with the, this kind of material, we uh, use a Dacron tape. Because the sail edges have shape built into them, you can see a little bit of fabric sticking out through the bottom. On these types of sacrificial sails, we'll be covering it with a Dacron UV resistant tape. So don't worry about that. The sail has shape built into it, so anywhere that the sacrificial fabric is over the edge, we'll trim it off so it's flush with the edge of the sail. And here at the tack corner where the fabric extends over the edge, we'll just fold it over the edge with approximately a one and a half or two inch hem, just so it matches up that Dacron tape on the bottom side and trim it off. A half an inch from the point. So now when we start on the inside curve on that other one, it'll be wider down here and narrower at the top. Each corresponding fabric strip will be laid on top of the other by approximately a half inch. Here she's preparing the second panel, marking the edges so she can again place this precisely on the sail. Here's a close up of those marks. We'll apply the Super 77 spray adhesive again and then position this panel. Don't worry if your panels are off by an eighth of an inch or so. You can fair those up quite nicely with just using a pencil and then trimming the fabric so it looks pleasing to the eye. You will notice at the foot again, there's a lot of extra fabric that has not been covered with our UV protective strip. Remember, a UV protective Dacron tape will be applied there, so don't worry about it. And then trim off any excess. We're not going to show the entire procedure of laying up these panels. 
but obviously you'd lay panels along the foot and also the leech. Here at the clue, we have not cut the Dacron fabric yet that's covering this ring. We want to expose the ring by cutting out that fabric, and we'll finish up the foot. We're going to skip ahead and show you what we do here at the uh, corner. We want some extra fabric, but don't need all this fabric, so we're going to trim some of it off. We didn't show it, but we positioned this panel and we sprayed the glue adhesive on it and ready to baste it into position. Now here at the clue corner we just fold that fabric over and we also have some fabric cut out for that corner ring. And there you are. Now we'll trim it along the edges and we'll trim off the uh, back side of the fabric at the clue. We don't need this much fabric overhanging the edge. We only need about an inch to an inch and a half to a maximum of two inches. So trim this off so it looks good. We'll now take the sail to the Ultrafeed sewing machine. We've installed it along the foot of the sail and now we just sew a zigzag along the inner perimeter of the UV protective cover going through that patch assembly. Ultrafeed works great for sails like this. We'll get a little bit of a close-up here of that zigzag stitch and we'll not show the entire process along this edge. We're moving on now. Once that edge has been sewn we want to sew across each one of the overlapping panel ends with a zigzag stitch. On the inner side of these sleeves, it's a good idea to reverse the sewing machine to lock your stitch in place. That isn't necessary along the outer edge or the foot edge of this portion of the sail because we'll have a Dacron tape that covers that, so no need to reverse there. Now we're also putting uh, some diagonal uh, pencil lines down each one of these strips from corner to corner. That helps to keep that strip nice and flat against the sail. So now we're sewing the zigzag stitch right on top of our pencil line from corner to corner to each one of these UV protective strips. And here we are coming to the uh, corner of one of these alternating strips and we just continue sewing. We'll not show this entire process.